when you have a spreadsheet of data and you want to make a row or a column so that it is frozen and it does not move and you want that to be think of it as like a header okay bolding it does not make it a header not so this video is going to show how can i freeze a row or freeze a column so that the spreadsheet of data can keep that as a header that is always locked in place for my view. I use this often, with, especially with the names, when I'm entering in extra data around another additional point, or especially when I get off screen and, oh, I can't see whose name it was. So the example I'm going to show is row first and then column second. So again, how to freeze the row. Here we go. First off, it's changing the view. So I'm going to click view. Second, I want it frozen, locked in place. So I'm going to freeze the view for row one. All right. So what I'm after, row one is the where I have student name, gender, class level, all the headings that are there. So what I'm going to do, view, freeze, and I'm going to say up to current row or one row. Now you'll notice there's that slight gray line that's below it there. Now when I scroll down, student name stays locked all the way down to when I get to Will. All right. <laughs> so I have shown for the row. Now what if I want to show when I scroll over, oh no, I have all these columns of data that I want to get to, but my student names aren't locked. So again, I'm going to go to View, Freeze, Column. I'm going to choose up to column A or one column because in this case, that's the one I want to have viewed. Now you'll notice again, there's that gray bar that shows this is what it's frozen to. So as I scroll, the name stays there, all right? So the other advantage, I've frozen uh, this part here, sorry, I've frozen uh, the student name, the row one, with all the headings of name, gender, class level, level, et cetera. Now, I can have the advantage of when I go to sort in the ABC order, it doesn't change, or if I sort, in descending order. Notice how student name didn't jump down. It's frozen that part too. So for the row view, it allows you to resort in different ways, such as male and female by gender. Gender didn't jump down, uh, didn't move. Class level, if I do that, it doesn't jump down. It just keeps that frozen. So this video has shown how to use the view freeze so that you can have that part stuck or frozen in place. So you always know your headers and you'll always know as you are accessing information to the right or left of the, or excuse me, to the right of the student names.